Hey, story time friends. It's Miss Lisa from Worthington Park Library. Um, I am here this week to talk a little bit about bears. That's our theme for this week. But before we get going into our theme, we're going to go ahead and start with a song called The More We Get Together. We're going to use a few signs for this one. So the first sign that you need to know is the sign for more. There you go. It's just like your fingertips are giving each other kisses. More. And the next sign we're going to need is the sign for together. We put two fists next to each other and we stir a big pot together. The last sign that we're going to use is the sign for happy. Very good job. Now, if you have super fast fingers and you want to, you can try to fit friend in there. We make two hooks and they give each other a hug and give a hug. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very nice. I hope you did a good job with that and had fun warming up your fingers. Um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about bears and why we're talking about bears right now. So we are in a season. Do you remember what season we're in? We're in the season fall or autumn. And at the end of autumn, which is where we're getting into, bears do something pretty special. Do you know what they do to get ready for winter? They get ready for something called hibernating. So bears will get ready and they're going to eat a lot of food and they're going to take in a lot of vitamins so that they can sleep through most of the winter. Doesn't that sound great? I know. I think I'm secretly getting ready to hibernate too. So a lot of our books today are about bears going to sleep, which is kind of silly because our good night theme was a few weeks ago. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this one. It's by Joyce Wan and it's called The Bear in My Bed. She has one called The Whale in My Swimming Pool that I read earlier this year because I love it. And if you remember at the end of The Whale in My Swimming Pool, he went up for a nap and guess who was in his bed? The bear. Are you ready? And it is by Ferris Strauss Grow is the publisher and the pictures and words are from Joyce Wan. What are you doing here? Mom, there's a bear in my bed. Very good, honey. Let Teddy have his beauty sleep and come eat dinner. Who's Who does mom think he's talking about? The little teddy bear. No, not that bear. I'll be back at bedtime. Don't touch my toys. Ooh, it says yawn. That's what a yawn is. I'm back. It's time for bed. Oh, look at this mess. Oh no. Did the bear do a good job of not touching his toys? No, bear made a big old mess, huh? First, let's put the toys away. Oh, you know what I would probably hear at my house? But I didn't get them out. I really like that he goes ahead and cleans up the toys. Mm -hmm, that's a great choice. Then it's bath time. More like splash time with you. Oh, Bear looks like he's having fun, doesn't he? Now we put on our pajamas. Is that how you put on pajamas? No. Then we brush our teeth. I think the bear is brushing his nose. It's as though bears are not good at brushing their teeth. Hmm. Now it's potty time. I said potty time, not party time. What's the bear doing? Is he playing with the toilet paper? Silly bear. Next, we read a story. We read books, bear, not eat them. Oh no, <gasps> bear ate a book. Oh no. Then we get into bed. They don't fit in there very well, do they? Hmm. That looks very uncomfortable, and so does that. And sometimes this reminds me of our daughter trying to share the bed with our big old dog. Hmm. Ow! Oh, he fell out of bed. I don't think we can both fit in this bed. Unless... 
What did he go get? Do you see? Smart boy. Just about done. Now there's a bed for each of us. What did he make? What is that? It's a bunk bed. You know, if you have read the first book, The Whale in My Swimming Pool, he got an excavator to try to move the, the whale. So he is very creative in his problem solving. Oh, a big bear hug, then a kiss goodnight. Now let's tuck you in. Finally, lights out. Good night, Teddy. Good night, bear. Sweet dreams. Ooh, sorry, there was a bad glare there. Clink, clank, clunk. What is all that noise? This has a really bad joke in it. Are you ready? All right. Is this what they call a bad hair day? What do you see all over their kitchen? What is that? It's bunnies, or another word for bunny, it's hair. All right, you did a really good job with that one, even with the silly joke at the end. Very nice job. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a rhyme that you probably know already. And I tried to find the book, but I didn't have any copies of it around. But there's a book called We're Going on a Bear Hunt. Lots of fun. And I'm just going to kind of go like this. Or one and then the other. Ready? We're going on a bear hunt. And then you would say it. We're going to catch a big one. Great job. With big green eyes. And a fuzzy little tail. Good job. Oh, and then we're going to look around and we're going to pretend to see things. So you can see swishy, swishy grass. And then you would go swishy, 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 swishy. And we can't go over it. And we can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. And then you could do the swishy, swishy, right? Swishy, 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 swishy. Good job. And you could do things like going through a river where you splash, 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 splash. Um, and you can go through lots of different things. And then you go back every time to that going on a bear hunt. I don't know if you know this one, but if you do, lots of fun to do. All right. So that was going on a bear hunt. There are lots of cute versions of it. One of my favorites is one called Cool Bear Hunt. And it's by Dr. Jean. And you go all sorts of silly places like a candy factory. Yes. All right. So that is... The next thing we were going to do, now I wanted to read you a classic story. Do you know what a classic story is? It's one that's old but really good. All right, so this one is an older story, and it is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. It's not really scary. And it's by Don and Audrey Wood, and the pictures are by Don Wood, and it's published by Child's Play International. This is my copy from my house and I could not believe it was actually in decent shape. Are you ready? Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? What does mouse have? Can you tell what that is? He has a ladder. Where do you think mouse is going with his ladder? Are mice very big animals? Nope, they're not, they're pretty small. Oh, I see. What did he find? Mmm, are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? What do you think? Is the mouse going to pick that? Look how proud he looks. He is ready. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? What do you think based on that face? Has he heard about the big hungry bear? He looks surprised, doesn't he? Oh, sorry. Oh, how that bear loves Red ripe strawberries. That is a beautiful looking strawberry, isn't it? The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Oh no. What's happening now? Can you tell what's happening in that picture? Look, the mouse has gotten so scared that he is shaking and he's shaking the whole strawberry plant. Especially one that has just been picked. Oh, I don't think he meant to pick it now. I think he was shaking. 
Oh, look at poor little mouse. He looks very scared. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. Oh, now the mouse is really scared, isn't he? No matter where it is hidden. Oh, mouse is trying hard to hide it. What did he do? Can you tell? <gasps> he tried to bury it. Or who is guarding it? Look, he has it all locked up and he's carrying around the key. Or how it is disguised. Isn't that one silly? Have you ever seen the glasses like that? Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. What do you think it is? Cut it in two. Oh, we cut it into two pieces. Give half to me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Look at how big it is for the mouse. That's a big meal. Now that is one red ripe strawberry the bear will never get. The end. <laughs> Isn't he so cute with his little strawberry hat? My kids call that the flower on the strawberry, even though it's not really a flower. And some of them eat them. I also think it's fun at the back. Look, there's a big bear looming over him. But we read this during our bear week and there is not one single bear in any of the pictures. All right, I hope you enjoyed that one. We are going to stand up now and we're gonna do a rhyme called Teddy Bear. Do you know this one? All right, ready? We're gonna say Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear a lot. I'm gonna see if I can get far enough away. Ready? We're gonna do Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Good job. All right, Whew, little calisthenics for me. All right, I have one more story I wanted to read to you. It's another one about a sleepy bear. I had a lot of them about sleepy bears. I'll show you, I pulled some other ones that were also about bears going to sleep. Yep, <laughs> there's a lot of them. Now, this one is by Karma Wilson and the pictures are by Jane Chapman and you might have seen some of the books in this series. This one's called Bear Snores On. Are you ready? Oh, and I think this copy is from Scholastic. Yep. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Do you see him? So he's doing what? Do you remember what it's called when he sleeps through the whole winter? Hibernating. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day. He sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. So what's he making? He's making a little campfire. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Remember we talked about bunnies being hares? Ho, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Yummy, they're having a whole meal now. Mouse sips, wee slurps, hair burps, big burps, and the bear snores on. You're going to hear that part a lot, so you can join me if you want to for the bear snores on. 
A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. But what do we say? The bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren. And everyone clutters in the great bear's den. That's a whole part he's having now, isn't it? They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons stew, then a small pepper flake makes the bear a chew. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And the bear wakes up. Bear snarls and he gnarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun, but me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans and the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. Don't fuss, look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight, then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. Aw. It's still cold, isn't it? It's still winter time. Hmm. I wonder if Bear went back to sleep to hibernate some more later in the season. I'm not sure. Look, he's wandering the snow now. All right. You did such a great job. I hope you enjoyed that book. We're going to do just one more song. Stong? We're going to do another story song. No. Um, we're going to do another rhyme where we're going to get up one more time and say goodbye with Tickle the Clouds. Are you ready? All right, we're going to stand back up. And we're going to reach way up high and tickle the clouds. Reach them up, tickle your toes, turn around, and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high, and story time's over. Let's wave goodbye. Bye, friends. I hope you had a good time. I miss seeing you. This is actually my last story time for this session. So if you miss seeing me, you can go back and watch some of the old ones. And I'll see you back here probably in January. We have one more coming up next week too. Okay, don't miss it. I'll see you later.